Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. This is the Old Man Digital World. We are taking a break from Tainted Grail for a moment, which I do plan to get past that bloody stone golem. But I needed a break. There has been a lot going on. 200 Americans, more than 200 Americans, left over in Afghanistan. I need to take a break from my day job. And I wanted to take out some of that frustration. So let's try Black Geyser, The Couriers of Darkness. It's an RPG, a CRPG to be exact. It's a new game. It's been out uh, about a week, maybe two. And uh, let's check it out here. And by the way, the game is still in early access and it is available on Steam. Um, should we pick a character that already exists? A Dwarf Highlander, Elf Ranger, Fledgling Mage. By the way, I have not played the game before, so I have no idea what's going on. Well, actually, let's create a new character. I have no idea what I'm doing, so this is all new to me. We'll see if it's new to you. We'll see how it looks. I just need something where I could go out and blow up something. So where I could attack something. And I'm not really good at the whole, um, what is it, the um, world, no World of Warcraft, the um, fighting. I, I'm not good at that. So let's try this. Uh, should we be human? I like dwarves. What's a real... No, oh, that just looks silly. That also looks silly. I'm guessing those are... Oh, those are elves. Mm. Like a half-elf? Wow, elves are short too? Elves are normally tall. I like dwarves. Mm. Very materialistic, strong connection to clan and family. Stout, powerful. Well suited, natural for deep. I don't know. I like, I've always liked the classic dwarvish character. So let's go with that. Okay. Stats. Can't be a necromancer. I like necromancers. Uh, ranger, swind. Cannot be a swindler? Oh no. Can't do it. Gotta go with human. Got to go with the basic human because I want to be a, uh, how do you get to the next screen? Oh, next. I want to be a rogue. Absolutely. Uh, not a fighter. Cleric, convert, necromancer. Necromancer. Negative light, shunned. Necromancers are not evil. Merely focused on inherent powers. Necromancer sounds interesting, but for the first playthrough, let's go with something standard. What's a thief? Thief has become uh, much more common. Their skill set, diverse. Function is common. Foot pads or royal spies. There's the thing, royal spy. Prefer subterfuge, misdirection. Steal or plant items, remain undetected. Create all manner of powder, makes them deadly and... You know what? Can I can I be a dwarven thief? I want to be a dwarven thief. Which is not the standard, but you know, pretty classic. Yes, I can. Yes, I can be a dwarven thief. I want that. Uh, stats. Can only wear light armor. Can use bows, arrows, slings. Foosty balls? What's a foosty ball? Throwing weapons, small blades, rods and stabs, yeah. Plus two dexterity. Focus. Uh, brewing and drying, so potions, good. We can use poisons. Uh, bargaining and persuasion are better. Good against damage on sleeping and stunned, plus the natural benefits of being a dwarf. Okay, I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, we got 21 points to distribute. Uh, strength, dexterity, intelligence. These are all standard. Standard D&D. Focus would be wisdom. What's supernatural? 
Supernatural displays a, a feature of the character that evades or elevates them from ordinary creatures. The value of Supernatural increases the character's resistance against various forms of damage and enables further special... It's Constitution. Okay, so it's Constitution, essentially. Because focus is willpower. Yeah, mental health and resilience, that's willpower. So, Supernatural's your uh, Constitution. So, let's drop a point in that for some resistances. And, oh, I get five points in that, too. So, hate poison cold I think poison will be more likely to be around more than anything else and fireballs always constant so let's get rid of that so we've got uh, 20 points and well we're a thief so we need more constitution uh, excuse me dexterity uh, we'll drop one point into charisma we need strength more dexterity. I want him to be at least moderately smart. He can't be an idiot. I don't need more willpower. A little more charisma because we're really in dealing. Some more strength. More dexterity. We've got 14 dexterity. I want more dexterity. Where do we take it from, though? Uh, can't lower focus. Supernatural, I want at least a little bit of resistances. Strength is barely average. Intelligence actually seems to be below average, but I'm a thief. I don't have to be a genius. Um, do we take it from, you know, it's not a bad allocation. I'm going to go with this. It's not the best distribution. I want more in dexterity, but uh, I'll live with it. I can live with this. It's not the worst. Would you make that same choice? You know, thinking about that. Would you allocate your distribution like this? Would you actually take the resistances or would you put another point into dexterity? Would you want more strength? And again, this is assuming that you're, we're taking a rogue, okay? We're thinking of a thief here. So, and I'm thinking, you know, royal, royal spy type, um, you know, assassin type. So I get uh, skills and spells. We get one point, one point. That's not a whole lot. Bargain persuasion, that's for dealing with, uh, yeah, selling stuff, learning and research. We'll work with scrolls and recipes. But recipes would give us uh, potions and also uh, poisons. Well, no, actually, we have brewing and drying for that. That lets us make healing potions, negative damage potions. Missing some points in skill affected by intelligence, dexterity, focus. Okay, uh, sneak. How can we not have hide and sneak or pickpocketing, which is different than picking locks? Shady dealings. Uh, we can talk to bad people or disarm traps. Disarm traps seems like a smart one. Small blades, that's always good. I'm a thief, though. I don't want to be in direct combat so much as... How about steal? Uh, ability, free other characters from their... Okay, pickpockets. But planting them? Hmm. Dexterity and focus. We got locks, we've got sneak. Hidden in the shadows. That's good for a backstab. Spot traps and disable them. Do we need that? 
Do I need to get traps? Or do I want... Well, I got three in... I got three in potions already. And I got one in bargaining. So do I want pickpockets or disarm traps? Or do I want to work on blades? I'm thinking... I think I want to do class specific. Oh, wait a minute. I get one for each. Duh. I'm an idiot. One for each. So, in the general... Let's get better bargaining. That gives us more money. We get one for this group. And that means... Mm, let's disarm traps. And we get two here. So one for small blades. Small blades would be daggers and short swords. That's what we use. So we'll take one there. And bows and arrows. Bows and arrows. Because that could come in handy. Always good to be able to kill the enemy before they get to you. So... All right. Depressive effects? What's that mean? Pacified, exhausted, and drowsy. Aroused. Aroused? Nervous, distracted, panicking. Okay. Illusions and manipulations. We got zero on stabbing? Oh, resistance. Okay. All right. Let's check out the next thing. So the game's pretty well involved here. What is he? Some kind of Klingon? I'm already looking at him, but let's see. Anyone more black dwarvish? That looks a little silly. Uh, not a whole lot of choices here. He's kind of Lord of the Rings-ish. More classic dwarf. He looks like a half-orc. Okay, we'll go with the Shaq look-alike. He looks like Shaq. He's too elvish, as well, otherwise I'd pick him. But We'll go with the Shaq look. Shaq. Shaq attack. Now, I think I just figured out the uh, name of my character. Major color, let's go with... Well, I like reds. Minor color, let's go with Midnight Blue. Skin color. No, oh, we can go darker than that. Oh, God, that's orangish. Looks ivory. I don't want to be ivory. God. Colors have a lot left to be desirable here. Really? It's like an orange. Eye color. No, I don't want green. I don't want blue. I do not want green. I want black. Do we not have black, red? Oh, there are other colors. We'll go with red. Let's see something. Are there other colors that... <laughs> That's black? That's what they call black? Really? Okay. Well, I found a color that I can live with. My hair is going to be gray. Really? That's gray? Oh, God. Yeah, we're going with gray. Uh, facial hair. Goatee. That works. Hey. Matches. Mm, hairstyle. No. Bald fade. No. No, no. That is definitely not going to work for me. Bald. Or do I want a mohawk? Not bald. Bald it is. All right. And we're going to go... Well, he looks kind of dwarfish. 
Kind of dwarfish. We're going to go with that. Uh, what's his name? Well, since since the character image looks like Shaq, we're going to call him Tear Shaq. Tear Shaq. What this sounds like. Okay. Hmm. What? Yes. No, oh, hell no. Yeah? Where's the wheel? Yes, uh. What? Well, I don't really like any of them, but we're going to go with the brute. Because the other two just did not sound right. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that. Okay, 15 minutes to set up a character. Not so bad. Considering I have no idea what most of the things I picked are going to impact the game. Again, this is my first playthrough. I have not played this yet. Is that music oh, too loud? Why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? Uh, let's see. Uh... Sure, I'm on Why my, am I not way. reassured? Listen, the lords from Isselbright are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Okay. By the way, I have the graphics on maximum. So, let's see. To inspect objectives. Oh. Uh, the whole day was a rush since the lords and ladies arrived. I should get inside before I get in trouble with my lord. I need to report to, to Berlin in the meeting room. I might also want to collect things from my chest before doing that. I'm an orphan, okay. Oh, personal personality qualities. Greedy, generous, vilified, idolized, unknown to famous. Really? That's the magician there. Curse of greed currently affects the world. It can barely be felt, but those with keen sense might start to feel its effect. Cost of living on the rise. Okay. Main quest. All right. Gotcha. All right. So, oh, scroll wheel does scroll out. Out of my Let's way. Mm -hmm. What's this? No, can't do anything with it. What's this? Nothing. Tab. No. She sounds, it sounds very loud in my ear. I'm not sure how the recording sounds, but that sounds very loud to me. Okay. Now, some of the things will change. As I said, uh, the game is, as I recall, still in... Uh, um, early access and there have been some up there's been quite a few updates on it it looks like so far seems good they got to work on the character models and they got to work on the character colors really really that's just something i always like to see if possible give a little more diversity load screens are a bit long uh, let's see just a bunch of people Oh. Okay, I'm out of my way. Can I turn? Nope, can't turn the screen, or at least not yet. Where is it? Oh. 
I'll take them all. I have no idea what I'm going after, so... Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Take that. We're going to take everything we can. If this is like a classic game, that means... Unidentified. Okay. Gold. Sicko. Take it. I want it all. There should be an auto loot. Well, actually, no, there shouldn't be an auto loot. That's not necessarily in my best interest. Okay. Berry juice. Okay. Is that for like healing? Oh. Ooh, what do we got here? Um, an emerald and an unidentified belt. I truly don't think anything's going to be cursed at this point. Actually, I want to try and get that, whatever that is. Nothing's there. What about, can I get this? Let's check that out. Uh, okay, can't touch that. Okay. Yes, yes. Potion of healing recipe. Definitely taking that. What's this? An identify scroll. Okay. That could be useful. Find out about one of those items. Potion of cure all. That's always good. What's this? Uh, documents table arranged in a meticulous order. So I don't get to see what that is. Okay. Yeah, I took that already. Let's see. No, wait a minute. Wooden gloves. Wooden gloves? More money. Another potion. Oh, okay. We got a bunch of weapons. Cool. Nothing in there. If you say so. Hmm. Relaxation. Yes, I'm going to steal everything I can possibly get my hands on. Why would I not? Mm, a pity ring. Okay, reagent. I'll take it. Come on, guys. You would steal everything too, right? Mushroom. Another reagent. Okay. Okay, I can arm myself. What's this? Uh, scholars, a magic staff, a morning star, throwing knife, dagger. Only one to five. Not much. But, alright, let's see. No, it doesn't automatically. Really? It doesn't automatically equip. What if I... Okay, double-click does it equip it. Okay. And... 
Island. Don't know what that is, don't know what that is. What if I use this? Okay, now we know what that is. Nope. How do I use that? Can't I use it? No. Close drop. Is there a way to use it? I don't know. It's good. I still don't know what it is. I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking, come on, it's the house I live in. None of this stuff should be cursed. Shouldn't be. And potion. How do I use it? this stuff. Special abilities, none. Skills. That doesn't do anything. Weapons, got it. Oh, these are my special abilities. Pick lock, sneak, and disarm. So those are the only things I can do right now. Let's sneak around. Thirsty work, this. Healing, healing's good. Hello? Hmm. Don't you have somewhere to be? Lords and ladies are waiting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. People are. I get it. People want me to do shit. They obviously saw me doing that, but I'm not sure how strange that would be. <clears throat> Hello! At last! Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virulin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! Uh, okay. Uh, plenty of spoils and riches allow them to contain various sorts. You may highlight all visible containers. Tap. Yeah, I've been doing that. A standard. Okay. Okay. Take all. Close. And journal is J. Journal is J. Warcroft and Larenthal are wine. Warcroft and Larenthal. Verilin. Walk off. Hello walk there. Cook. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh, the staff. Walk off. I was is starting to wonder. Larenthal. Larenthal. Okay. Hello. That's wine. Yes, yes. Get on Ale with it. Need wine. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. Why not? I've been stealing from everybody else. Um, Joran is ale. Joran is ale. Hello. Hmm. Well. Joran is ale. You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. All right. So he's a jerk. And. Last two should be me. Okay. Hello. Do you need something? You're here. Finally. Need. Ah, good. Alright, well, best answer I've gotten so far. And her. Hello. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Me. Just what I wanted for a change. Okay. Straightforward. 
He's an ass. Oh, okay, we got a cutscene. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Let's see Gentle how this ladies. Goes. You hear the crackling of the fire? It's interesting. Yes, let's. Doesn't sound great in your We are convened though. to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored like and popping. suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmarad. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. Doesn't she sound just like... She and there me are policy. ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeral nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Yeah, definitely reminds me of Pelosi there. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Okay. Oh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Deron Gould's military, e even the town watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Is that yes, more the it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? That's such a kind of Pelosi type. Yes, I'm political. I am a political guy. That's what I do for my day job. So, just remind me. Did you me know, that. I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed. <laughs> oh my, what exceptional nonsense. <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isilbright's rules and dictums could be cut. And this is AOC. Especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Yeah, I don't Wise like this. Wise counsel, my friend. But I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould. Or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. Yuver, what is your opinion on recent developments? Oh boy. You're asking the errand boy? Kindly like do her. not interrupt me while sitting at my table, That's Lady Laren Fall. Well, speak up. By the way, I realize the game is not political. I am. That's my day job. That's what I do, political commentary. So I'm sorry if you if that upset some people so far. Well, no, I'm not. But, you know, I get it if you're upset about that. But you can make any comment in the comments and tell me how screwed up I am. That's perfectly fine. I'm not. I, I accept that. So what am I going to say? Peaceful solution must always be best, especially if the only point of contention is money. No, don't agree with that. Whether or not Darren Gould has legitimate grievances is besides the point. 
They must be crushed. To do otherwise would invite rebellion from every corner. Makes some sense. Since I have little experience in political matters, for me, the wisest course is silence. No, that's not me. So, guess option two. Indeed. There is truth in what you say. I have often found fear to be a more useful asset than respect. Yeah. Okay, game just froze. Cut screen. Right. My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. Yeah, who cares who's attacking? How much time do we Too have? Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason, wherever oh. they're from. What an idiot. No, they're attacking. No. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare. Right? God, yeah. The... Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Okay, you guys are idiots. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf, if it's of any use. Yeah, yeah, send them out, let them die. You? What? Where are you going? Not with you guys. Come with me. Make haste. Yeah, uh, because I'm not going with those idiots. I'm going. Those idiots are going to die. Yeah, where am I going? You and not. you lot, with me. Okay. The main gate has already been breached. The House of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. Okay. And you, you've always been a first-rate skulker at Key Halls. Well, yes. Yes. Your weird hobbies are no secret to me. Best not face armed soldiers head on. But do what you can. Fair enough, yes. I am a, uh... Watch your step around our guests. No, yep, we got a battle. Battle. What? What? I died in one hit? I got one hit? Did I miss a hit in there? I died. That's ridiculous. I'm the lead character. They're not supposed to hit me in these things. At least not in the beginning scene. Not in the opening scene. Really? 